be sure to check out my second channel called Rob Explains. There you can check out videos where I explain things outside of comic books. What's going on guys, this is Rob, and welcome back to Top 5 Tuesday, a weekly series where we count down the top 5 concepts, characters, and teams from across the comic book industry. And this week, we're going to be counting down the top 5 moments when Batman murdered people. Now to be clear, we won't be covering battles to the death. Instead, we'll be talking about times when Batman just flat out murdered another human being. And so starting off our list at number 5 is The Grinder. In Detective Comics number 613 in 1990, Batman Batman finds himself in the midst of a war between two rival trash companies. After stealing one of the trash trucks and heading to the Freshfields landfill, Batman witnesses a young man named Mike being assaulted after he tries to stop the rival trash gang from killing his father. Leaping into action, Batman disarms one of the men and then turns to kick another man. Batman's kick causes the attacker to fall into another henchman, sending them both into the back of a trash truck where they're, <laughs> where they're ground up in the machinery, <laughs> prompting Batman to look on in shock simply saying my god so coming in at number four on our list is the junkyard in Batman number 425 in 1988, following the infamous act of Jason Todd dropping a man off a balcony, we find Jim Gordon is actually kidnapped by the victim's father, a man named Jose Gonzalez, in order to lure Batman and Robin to a junkyard to enact his revenge. After the arrival of Batman and the unexpected appearance of Robin, Jose Gonzalez and his accomplice engage in a battle with Batman and Robin, but during the conflict, Batman is able to climb a stack of trash vehicles, which he actually pushes on top of Jose Gonzalez, killing him him in the process. Now following Batman's act of murder, he informs Jason Todd that this is fallout from Jason Todd's <laughs> from Jason Todd's previous act of murder, teaching him that every action has a reaction. So rounding out our list at number 3 is the Green Dragon statue. In Detective Comics number 39 in 1940, Batman finds himself in a mystery involving two missing millionaires. Batman's investigations eventually lead him to the location of the two men who are being held for ransom. <laughs> by a group called the Chinese Hatchet Men. <laughs> Jumping to the rescue, Batman's able to make his way onto a platform <laughs> with a green dragon statue, which he pushes onto the Hatchet Men, killing them all in the process. In addition to this, Batman chases down the Hatchet Men, <laughs> the hatchet men leader, calls him a fatty, and then <laughs> punches him in the face re <laughs> repeatedly, <laughs> declaring that it's more fun than a punching bag. So coming in at number two is the fiery crash. In Batman number 15 in 1943, as part of a series of propaganda comics, Batman has shown a world where the Japanese and the Germans had succeeded in winning World War II. In an effort to do their part in turning the tide, Batman and Robin ambush a car transporting Germans and Japanese soldiers, and using a previously acquired rifle with a bayonet and spouting a series of racial slurs, Batman throws the rifle at the tires, causing them to blow out, which sends the car crash into a pole, killing everyone inside by causing them to burn to death. So coming in at number one on our list is the mental patient. In Batman number one, the villain Hugo Strange orchestrates the escape of inmates <laughs> from an insane asylum. Using a serum that speeds up their growth hormones, causing them to grow to 15 feet in height, Hugo Strange sends them on a rampage of robberies in Gotham City proper. After his capture and eventual escape, Batman begins tracking the men as they continue their rash of robberies. Eventually locating one of the vehicles and disabling it, Batman lowers a rope around the, <laughs> around the neck of one of the men, dragging him into the air and hanging him to death from the bat plane, declaring <laughs> that he's probably better off this way. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and bring this video to an end, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.